there's the God who delivers. There's the God who delivers. Praise the name of the Lord. His name is Jehovah Pelet. I know you've never heard of that name of Jehovah. Jehovah Pelet, P-E-L-E-T. Uh, Psalm 32, verse number 7 is where we get Jehovah Pelet, the God who delivers. Uh, just give me that scripture very quickly. It says, you are my hiding place. And the Lord told me to tell you, you must hide in him. Hide in him. Hide in Jehovah. There are so many troubles in the land, but you must hide in Jehovah. Hide in him. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. We are in the perilous times, uncertain times right now. Hallelujah. Because of COVID vaccination, all those things. People are, are uncertain about a lot of things. But the Lord told me to tell you, fear not. Because your God is your hiding place. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So God, you are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. So any trouble that you are in, God is going to preserve you from that trouble. He will preserve you from COVID. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. Every worship song that you sing from today, it's a song of deliverance. Every song of praise, it's a song of deliverance. And the Lord told me to tell you, do not allow the enemy to steal your joy. Do not allow the enemy to steal your joy. Oh, let me talk a little bit about this. Why? Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. So I get my strength when I'm in joy. Hallelujah. Even, even, even concerning reaping my harvest, the Bible says, Ma ze We sow in tears sacrificial seed, but we only reap if we are in joy. Joy. So when the enemy takes your joy, he takes your ability to receive your harvest. May you not allow the enemy to take away your ability to receive your harvest. So when the enemy attacks your joy, he attacks your harvest. When he attacks your joy, he attacks your strength. Hallelujah. Oh, focus on what God has promised you. Do not worry about the former things, says the Lord. But fix your eyes on the future and fix your eyes on him. Forget about the disappointment of the past, hallelujah, because the God you serve is a redeemer, the God you serve is a restorer, hallelujah do not allow the enemy to steal your joy the Lord said something powerful to me this morning. Melissa, listen to this. The Lord said, he, 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 he took me to the book of Zechariah, chapter number 1, verse 18 to 21, where he speaks about what are these. He says, these are the horns that scatter Judah. Scatter Judah. Who is Judah? Judah is my praise. So the first protocol for horns is to scatter your praise. And when he scatters your praise, you will not lift up your head. Hey! So I must have joy on purpose. Hallelujah. He says, I rejoice in the Lord. And he repeats himself for a reason. And he says, and again, I say rejoice. Hallelujah. We will rejoice. And as we rejoice, I'm telling you, you will see a change. Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Hallelujah. Number one. Number two, I will get my harvest in joy. If you are frustrated, you will never see a breakthrough. So do not allow frustrations to come upon your life. Refuse to be frustrated. Hallelujah. You must surprise the enemy with a praise. Hallelujah. I refuse for the enemy to scatter my Judah. To scatter my praise. Hallelujah. I refuse to have my nose, my mouth in my nose. Hallelujah. I refuse. No matter what the devil does, I will make maintain my joy. Listen to what he says. He says, this is the day that the Lord has made. Then he says, I will rejoice. There's a revelation there. He's saying, as an act of my will. No, 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 no. You see, you see, <laughs> happiness is because of something that happened. Uh, the word happiness comes from the word hap, 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 which means something must happen. So if your joy is determined by things happen, 
happening you're in trouble because something good has to happen for you to be joy to for you to be happy so there's a higher revelation which is called joy joy is higher than 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 happiness so i'm going to tap into joy i, I don't know if I know, it's on, anyone's understanding what i'm talking about i'm going to tap into joy this is the day that the lord has made and i will rejoice i will as an act of my will I will rejoice. I'm seeing good things around me. I will rejoice. I'm seeing trouble. I will rejoice. Because frowning about the trouble does not get rid of the trouble. But it is the joy of the Lord that is my strength. Hallelujah. So my customer has said they are delaying to pay me. I will not be frustrated. I will rejoice in the fact that the payment is still coming. Then I will turn around and deal with the enemy. And say you devil. You power of delay. Delay, you demon of delay I address you in the mighty and precious name of Jesus I don't get frustrated about my problems I attack the problems with the revelation that the Lord has given me I'm telling you oh when the enemy attacks you the first thing he wants to do is to steal your joy and remember it's a season of restoration the Lord is going to restore unto you the years that COVID-19 has stolen I said the time that you have lost to COVID-19 stuck in your home the Lord is going to restore that time in the name of Jesus it's a season of restoration I will not miss my season focusing on the past this season of restoration Jehovah God restore unto me the time that I lost and I must you have lost time but you have not lost your God and God will give you transactions singular transactions that will help you to restore I hear the Lord taking me to Job 42. I prophesy. I'm prophesying this morning. The Lord is taking me to Job chapter 42, verse number 10, man, and verse number 10 up to 12. And the Lord restored the losses of Job. When he prayed for his friends. Listen to me. When you're going through a difficult time, focus on praying for others. It's a revelation that the Lord has given me. When I'm not feeling well I engage in praying for other people I get healed as I take the focus of me and I put the focus on God's children he prayed for his friends and God restored his losses you see the enemy wants you to focus on your problems until you are pouting ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I take the focus on me yes I'm in trouble I'm not denying the fact that trouble is all around me but I pray for my friends and as I pray for my friends, God will restore my losses. I don't focus on my losses, I focus on the kingdom. You see, that's kingdom priority mentality. Because his friends were people who went to church with him. Hallelujah. So he prayed for brethren. Hallelujah. You need to learn to pray for brethren when you're in trouble. What are you doing? You're not ignoring your problems. No, you are actually activating a divine solution. Hallelujah. And you come out of trouble by praying for your friends. The Lord restored Job's losses. COVID has ushered in a lot of losses, a lot of delays, and a lot of frustrations. This is a divine strategy I'm giving you. Restore Job's losses, Lord, when he prayed for his friends. Indeed, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before the losses. Watch this. I love verse 11. It's a powerful verse. He says, Then all his brothers and all his sisters and all those who had, had been his acquaintances before came to him and ate food with him in his house and they consoled him and comforted him give me the next part look at how they, are com they comforted him for all the adversary that the, that the Lord had brought upon him how they comforted him you will be comforted with money look at this <laughs> each one gave him a piece of silver and each a ring of gold enough of people petting my back and tell me, telling me to be okay no comfort me with money it's in the bible it's in the holy bible they are comforting transactions i prophesy it in the name of jesus comforting transactions transactions that will make you weep and say god so this is how you decided to restore years of losses listen there are things you lost 
you cried over them and God using money is going to comfort you I release the comforting grace and listen to me when you go through things do not expect the comforting to come from the person who caused the issue no God has got more than 7 billion actors worldwide who can act in the movie of your life don't restrict go to your uncle hallelujah I know you have a rich uncle but don't focus on your uncle hallelujah because God will use more people that you do not know than the people that you know because sometimes you look at your life and you say how am I going to recover because you are looking at all the people you know they are struggling like you the devil is a liar God will use people you do not know and strangers shall feed your flock the Bible says hallelujah I release the grace to be held by strangers you might not even know their name hallelujah but God will compel some people to help you. Some people will lose sleep just to help you. The Lord will speak to kings on your behalf. The Lord will speak, speak to people on your behalf. They will not rest until they help you. Listen, there are people who are going to be anointed to help you. Empowered to help you. They will not even want anything in return. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord saying someone is having a problem with their boss but the Lord is saying I'll talk to your boss's boss it will come as a decree he will just change his mind you won't even understand because your boss's boss will talk to your boss because the king of kings is going to talk to the king of that king there are people under the sound of my voice there's somebody who's just being a problem they are standing as a gatekeeper blocking you but I hear the Lord saying the hearts of kings are in my hand that's Proverbs 21 verse 1 the hearts of kings are in the hand of the Lord kings are movers and shakers kings are people who can make things happen ah, Mark 137 Jesus, Jesus, Master all men are looking for you all men are looking for you not just to see you to say they no, they are looking for you to conclude some big big things with you. All men are seeking for you. I didn't say all men you are related to. I didn't say all black men. I didn't say all white men. People from around the world will look for you. COVID had covered your life. Isaiah 25, I think verse number 7. As a veil that is being removed. Yes, that's it. He says, and he will destroy on this mountain. This mountain is a church. The surface of the covering cast over all the people. And the veil that spreads over the nation. So a veil is something that is put so that you are not seen. And also so that you do not see. So the Lord is removing the veil. The veil put there by COVID that people you had begun to do transactions with uh, were not even thinking about you they had not even seen you and they ignored you there is a grace a grace to remove the veil upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance there shall be holiness and after the deliverance and the cleaning up of, of your life the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions the house was always yours it was just waiting for your deliverance the transaction was always yours it was just waiting for your deliverance woe unto you if you're in a church that does not do deliverance because you can have possessions that you don't possess and uh, whatever was yours whatever God earmarked for you whatever heaven dispatched for you I release a deliverance grace that will cause you to possess what has taken long 
Deliverance is not the laying on of hands and the rolling of the ground. And through knowledge shall the just be delivered. By the word you are being delivered. By the word coming out of my mouth as a prophet of God. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Whether you are in Zimbabwe or Nigeria or in Europe. Whether you are in America or in Israel. I prophesy you are being delivered. And the kind of deliverance I'm talking about shall be unto the possessing of your possessions. There is no genuine deliverance if you are still stuck in poverty. You must say, Lord, we went through fire. Psalm 66 verse 12. We went through floods. But we are coming out into a wealthy place. I must come out into a wealthy place. I must come out into a wealthy place. If I'm truly delivered, I wealth must be seen. And if there's no money in my pocket, I've not yet been delivered. So I'm going to press in and say, Jehovah God, true deliverance must be unto results. Listen to me all over the world. In the book of Mark chapter number 5, I won't read the whole of it. But in Mark chapter number 5, Jesus there went to a place. And in that place, he met a man called the madman of Gadarin. He came from the Gadars. Hallelujah. And he was bound. And this bondage of this man was prophesied even in Genesis 49. Hallelujah. They said that God, he shall, he shall, I'm paraphrasing, he shall be bound, but he shall be free at last. I'm prophesying to you, and I'm prophesying to you all over the world. He shall be bound, yes, but he shall be free at last. Long story short, Jesus delivered him. The demons, they they, they, they begged him and they said we are territorial demons do not cast us out of the territory and they negotiated and they went into the pigs and the pigs went into the water you know the story but here is the moral of the story that I want you to catch watch this the Bible says that after this man was delivered after he was delivered he went into ten cities the Catalon he went into ten cities to minister into ten cities and when I woke up this morning this scripture came to the forefront of my mind and the Lord said to me, you have sons and daughters who you are going to deliver. And after you deliver them, 10 houses, 10 businesses, 10 commercial buildings, 10 cities, 10 nations, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10. So there is a grace that I'm releasing from this pulpit in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost. Can you imagine this man had a destiny for 10 cities? 10 cities. There's somebody you are renting one room. You should have a house with 10 rooms, Zoe. You are in one room. You should have a house with 10 rooms. So the enemy has suppressed a destiny of 10. I don't know what your 10 is. And then he gave me Daniel 1 verse number 20. As they were examined, Daniel and his friends, they were 10 times better. 10 times better. There is a grace of 10 times better that is going to be released. I prophesy over your life those who are under the sound of my voice and those who would believe me Luke 145 there will be a performance of what you believe the Lord is saying between now and the end of the year if you will believe this word you shall be ten <laughs> ten times better ten times better whatever you are today minimum 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 10 times better and but what needs to happen for you to be 10 times better those demons have to go they have to go and there are money stranglers they are 
going. There's somebody under the sound of my voice. Influence over 10 cities. There's somebody under the sound of my voice. Before this year is over, 10 major transactions shall be concluded and paid. I wish somebody would hear this word with their spirit. Refuse that mindset that God is talking to other people. No, he's talking to you. The grace to conclude 10 major transactions between now and the end of the year. Believe it or not, the grace for your net worth to change a minimum of 10 times. I challenge somebody right now under the sound of my voice to send 10,000 RTGs to the church. Just to connect with that word. Put the bank details of the church up, up there, the RTGs details. Because somebody wants to connect with that word. I'm saying it as the Lord is saying it. Remember, we are entering into the 10th month. You will prosper 10 times more than your forefathers, says the Lord. What your forefathers failed to do, you will do ten times more. If your father had one car, do the math. If your father had one house, do the maths. There is an anointing that is present today to restore. To restore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. And he part and he departed and began to proclaim her decapolis. All that Jesus had done for him. Uh, and all people marveled. They will marvel at your life. By December, you will be a marvel. Galatians 1:24. And they will glorify God through your life. And they glorified God in me. It's not a statement of pride. It's a scripture. When people look at your car, they must glorify God. When they look at your shoes, they must glorify God. When they look at your house, they must glorify God. When they look at your money, they must glorify God. When they look at your marriage, they must glorify God. When they look at your church, they must glorify God. When they look at results in your life, Zechariah 8, 23. That says the Lord of hosts in those days. Ten men. Ten men. Ten testimonies will hold on to you they will grasp onto your skirt saying we will go with you why <laughs> we have seen uh, we have seen that God is with you uh, when you look at the kind of results you are producing we cannot but deny undeniable results by the grace of God people who hold on to your skirt and say we will go with you for we have heard that God is with you the kind of results that are in Genesis 26 uh, verse number 16 Isaac, Isaac get away from us why? for you are mightier than we further down they say oh, we have seen that you are the blessed of the Lord my results are People will see you and say for sure this could only be God. I'm 
Ah, zina mwarim kati. Pana zukutoi tika mupenyu wako. Zina mwarim kati. Pana baza tala mahaya. Azirambike kuti zina mwarim kati. Masede rebeshe lida na bakoda. Baka lida na bahaya. Even the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Who is a lawful captive? Somebody who has a spiritually legal right to be bound according to spiritual laws. But no matter how powerful the legalities and the technicalities are, you shall be delivered quickly. After the madman at Gadarin was delivered, things changed quickly. People who begin to say they will not understand that just one morning prayer you tapped into a grace on the 15th of September 2021 you tapped into a grace you tapped into a grace for things to change quickly for things to happen quickly yes you've been delayed Joseph because the butler and the baker they forgot you but things will change quickly things will change quickly those who are ignoring you will look for you things will change quickly it is a grace for quick recovery watch God change your life quickly Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Pastor Reggie, listen to this. The Lord is saying, I don't restore years over years. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I've never heard that in my entire life. I, he says, I restore years in days. If it takes him years to restore years, it's not restoration, it's progress. In a matter of days, in a matter of days some of you by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow oh thank you lord i hear the lord saying do not underestimate what i can do in a day if it took him six days to create the whole earth what can it do in your life in six hours? It will not take time. It will not take time. Don't let the devil deceive you and tell you it's a matter of time. No, it's a matter of grace. And there is a grace to change things and they must change quickly. An overtaker's anointing is coming upon many of you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord is saying the spiritual, those who are spiritual, they are going to overtake those who are kings on the marketplace if they are spiritual. Lord, thank you. Where do I get that? First Kings chapter number 18. And Elijah, the man of God, the spiritual, he told the king to go ahead. He says, go ahead. I'm going to spend time with God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. In the realm of the spirit. Go ahead. Go ahead. In other words, Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's time I and you go ahead. Kida bazati. Go ahead of me. It's okay. Go ahead of me. And the Bible says, and the anointing of the Holy Ghost came upon him, and he carried up his loins. Kida bazato la bahaya, and he overtook the king's chariots. In other words, those who are spiritual shall overtake carnal kings on the market. Go ahead. Get the Rolls Royces and the Lamborghinis. And they begin to go ahead, go ahead. Asikana tangzo ita isuki di begi di bahaya. Muneta nge mangam chi driver matoi. Kida bakada bahaya. The days they could change yanga chi sekwa nanyika are coming to an end. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Arise, shine. He didn't say arise and shine. It's too urgent to put end. 
arise he's giving you the reason while you'll arise you're going to shine why the glory of the Lord is coming upon you your light he didn't say the light your light there is a light that is idiosyncratic to you the Goshen experience shall happen upon your life there might be darkness COVID elsewhere but your light is coming upon you it is your time to be highlighted highlighted Zion you will be highlighted you cannot be ignored when light is on you you can't be ignored so you will arise because you are shining you will shine because your light has come that light will cause restoration upon your life you will be the uh, you will be the the, the, the the attention of focus when a city is dark even if in your whole in your whole street there's no power if your house is a generator all the attention will be on your house listen don't worry about what's happening around you your light is coming I don't know who I'm speaking to but there is a grace coming upon somebody where they listen to me all those teachings on humility are crucial because the way God is raising you in a short space of time you need to be grounded you need to be sober I'm telling you because light is coming on you do not allow that light to cause you to be proud and when that light comes on you reflect God the moon does not have a light of its own it is simply a reflection of the sun when the light comes on you it's only because you are reflecting the sun Jesus that's why we say all oh, glory belongs to you the light that people are seeing on me is only because I'm reflecting your glory Galatians 1.24 They will glorify God because of what they will see in your life. I speak over your life this month of September before it finishes. Genesis 26 verse number 12 And the man Isaac began to prosper. He sowed in that land and reaped in the same year. That's why I'm telling you to sow that seed. That seed will not germinate in 2022. No. In the same year. In the same year. There are things we need to put to order before this year is over. He sowed and in the same year he reaped a hundredfold. A hundred is a product of ten. Ten times ten grace. He reaped in the same year a hundredfold and the Lord blessed him as if that is not enough verse 13 and the man Isaac began to prosper uh-huh. I have news for you you had not started you will begin to prosper. Uchatanga kusimuka. Uchatanga kubudirira. Uchatanga kuwana ma results. How God is raising you will command an explanation. And the explanation is God's hand is upon him. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And the hand of the Lord was upon Moses. And the hand of the Lord was upon Solomon. And the hand of the Lord was upon David. True prosperity is a product of the hand of God. Wherever you are around the world, the hand of the Lord is coming upon your life. Roko rangwari rukuya pauri. Roko rangwari rukuya pauri. No one can deny that God is with you, Joseph. The hand of the Lord is the hand of speed. It's the hand of restoration. It's the hand of prosperity. The hand of the Lord is the hand of healing. It's the hand of power. Is the hand of dominion. Go online and find my message on YouTube. The hand of the Lord. Actually, it's a series I did. When the hand of the Lord comes upon you, it is a game changer. And I feel his mighty hand coming upon you today. 
Lord, retain your hand upon our lives. Dore rai ruoko ruenyu patiri. Dore rai ruoko ruenyu patiri. We need your hand, O oh God. For by your hand you will hold my hand. And you pick me from where I am to where I should have been by now. Ah, baba do ba ze tele beke di baka tala mahaya. Aza babu de beke ze dele boko di da bahaya. It will be undeniable that God's hand is upon you. If you be spiritually focused this season, you will see the hand of the Lord upon you. You will see the grace of God upon you. You will see the divine empowerment of God upon you. God's hand, thank you, Holy Spirit. God's hand cannot come upon you and you remain the same. The devil is a liar. God's hand cannot not come upon you and you remain in the same place. No. When God's hand comes upon you, things will shift and change and there will be a transformation. Wherever you are around the world, stretch your hands towards me on your gadget and begin to pray that the hand of the Lord would come upon your life. The hand of the Lord must come upon your business. The hand of the Lord must come upon you. The hand of the Lord must come upon your marriage. The hand of the Lord must come upon your children. The hand of the Lord must come upon you. It is the hand of the miraculous, miraculous transactions by the hand of God. It's the hand of advancement. Unusual progress by the hand of God. Unusual speed by the hand of God. Unusual transactions by the hand of God.